Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescaserace.com coming at you with a case of 2022-23 Hit Parade Basketball Autographed Platinum Edition Series 6. Autographed Platinum Edition Series 6. 10 cases made, 10 boxes in the case. A lot of nice stuff in here. Big thanks to this group right here for getting this uh, going. And thanks to this group right here specifically for that late night rally. It's been pretty quiet last uh, couple hours of the show, but there was a late night rally for this. That's always appreciated. And I'm sure the people in the break previously are also thankful because they're going to wake up to uh, seeing this video posted. All 30 teams are in. There will be a trade window. Trade at your own risk. Let's roll it, randomize it, four and a six, ten times for this ten box break. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, got Brian down to Kime. We're talking about Summer League in the ba before we started this video. I went, went on the fur opening night, I think, All right? Friday the 7th in Vegas, two. I didn't go for the full day, but it looked like there were some decent food and drinks out there. Uh, waters and Gatorade cost like about five bucks each, which, which I thought was a little bit cheaper than I've seen in some arenas. All right, so we had Charlotte down to the Thunder, right? Charlotte down to Thunder after 10. Charlotte down to Thunder. All right, so Brian, you've got the Hornets, Sal with the Clippers, Lorenzo with the Hawks, Roy with the Pacers, Matthew with the Warriors, Will with the Pistons, Joe with the Cavs, Chris with the Mavs, Aaron with the Bucks, Roy with the Spurs, Kime with the T-Wolves, Brian with the Trail uh, the Trailblazers, Aaron with the Heat, Will with the Pelicans, Damian with the Wizards, Brian with the Knicks, Lorenzo with the Magic, Sal Kings and Nets, Will Bulls, Tristan with the Lakers, uh, Chris with the Jazz, Dan with the Rockets, Aaron with the Raptors, Roger with the Sixers, uh, Brian with the Suns, Kyle with the Celtics, that's Brian with a Y, Brian K with a Y, Suns, Brian K with an I, Nuggets, Sal, Last Spot Mojo, Grizzlies, and Kime with the Oklahoma City Thunder. Now we are going to pause the video for a bit. But I'm going to alphabetize by team right here. And when we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. Stick around. BRB. All right. Welcome back, folks. No deals were done, so the list remains the same. We were telling, I was telling some Summer League stories from when I was there last Friday, the 7th. So what games did I see? I, I watched Bulls-Raptors, which was pretty good. Uh, Dalen Terry didn't have a good box score on Friday, but he looked good on the court. That guy, that, Dalen Terry jumped, jumped out at me. Who else was on that? Grady Dick was playing. Uh, he too did not have a good store, a score line, box score line, but looked good, looked moved well on the court. A lot of rust. I think it was the first day of summer league for a lot, of, or at least Vegas summer league for a lot of those players. Another game I saw, I saw Blazers Rockets. Um, Scoot Henderson looked really good, especially the first half. He had 13, 3, and 3. I don't think he ended up playing the rest of the game. I think he uh, banged up a little bit. Um, Shaden Sharp. I mean, I guess I've seen his highlights on TV. But to see him in action, I think he's, he's a really exciting player to watch. Scoot Henderson, too. Chris Murray did all right as well. Here's John Wall, Wizards, one of one. From a from replay? That's pretty cool. Remember, the platinum level, right? So there's limited is usually the base level. Platinum is like the middle level, then there's sapphire, then there's other special levels, VIP, emerald, so on, Jaspi exclusives, so on and so forth, but yeah, it's another notch up from some of the limited breaks that you've been seeing. That's going to go to Damien and the Wizards. Damien, 
All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Also, Shaden Sharp. Scoot Henderson looked pretty good. All right. Oh, that's the Jabari Smith 33-point game. That was impressive, including the game-winning three with like 0.6 seconds left. So Javari Smith Jr. looks good. Tori Eason looked pretty good. Amen Thompson looked good. Cam Whitmore. Here's Anthony Davis. Nice. One out of 25. Saw a bit of, bit of my baby Lakers too. This is Pelicans edition. That'll go to, that'll go to Will. That's from, what year is that? Threads. From 1819 threads let's see I saw a lot I watched a lot of basketball saw the Hornets Spurs game the Wemby game which was actually by far I think the, the the worst game a lot of guys missing shots it wasn't super clean Brandon Miller looked good again his score line didn't look very good but although he went 16 and 11 actually that is pretty good book night had some exciting plays as well James book night Brandon Miller looked good. There's Yao Ming. Wow. On card auto Yao Ming from an old upper deck set from 2004 2005 Ultimate Collection. You don't see a lot of Yao Ming autographs anymore. That's going to go to Dan and the Rockets. There you go, Dan. Brandon Miller looks big. I think he, he looks doesn't look like a kid that was just playing college. So I, I looked like he had some good size. When Banyama, the hype is real, ladies and gentlemen. The, the the building was packed. Buzz was in the every time he touched the ball and got close to the three point line, there were everyone was yelling, including myself, shoot, shoot the ball, but. Did, did not play well. He admitted that, too. He looked a little uh, slow, tired at times. Um, but he uh, he definitely had some good basketball IQ, was passing the ball at the right places. Here's Tyrese Halliburton, in-flight autograph. Kings edition here, 6 out of 30. Sacramento, that'll be for Sal. Did not see your kings, Oliver. They were in the other building. I was staying in the, the main building so I wouldn't lose my Wenbanyama seat. He had five blocks. Those got some oohs and ahs. Some guys tried shooting, o shooting over him. They realized out that's not going to work. So people were kind of testing him. He's going to get bodied around a little bit. He's got to add a little more bulk to that frame. That's, that's true. They did win. Next up is a dual autograph. Jamal Wilkes, Dennis Rodman. 8 out of 50. That's a randomizer between the Lakers, Tristan, and the Bulls, Will. We'll do that at the end. One happy person, one sad person. Kai Jones definitely dunked on him. That that got some one of the loudest oohs of the uh, of the night. And I don't know if I I, I don't know if that's something that he was kind of this. He, I was just talking to Teddy about this. There's a lot of things you notice when you're watching. I mean, watching live sports. Sports live is so much better than TV. No announcers. You get to watch the game and other players as you would. You're just not forced to watch what TV is telling you to focus on. But there are a lot of moments where, where Wemby, for his size, was keeping the ball too low. I don't know, Oliver. Is that an issue? Shouldn't he be keeping the ball higher? If he's, I'm no basketball coach. But a lot of times... He got a little loose with the hands, kept the ball too low, and there are guards with fast hands swiping the ball out of his uh, out of his hands, keeping it too low. There's Bam Adebayo, Bam. 
18 out of 99, Miami Heat, Aaron. But there was a couple times where he kind of kept the hands too low and got the ball knocked out of his hands or stolen outright. But when he kept his hands up, I mean, it's just hard to defend the guy. Moves really well. It's going to get bumped around a little on defense by, by smaller but, but wider guys, you know. So he's got to work on that. Yeah, he's just got to get into shape. He'll be fine, though. There's Scotty Barnes. He'll be fine. 16 out of 99. I wanted to ask, Rex says, how much do you think Summer League affects values? I feel like for Wemby, by the way, Aaron, yeah, did I say Aaron Billingsley Raptors? Aaron, Raptors. I feel like for Wemby, it's not going to affect it too much. But I always feel like every other year, there'll be someone, I think it helps them more out of the sort of outside of the hype. Like people with zero hype going into it and then surprises and then just goes off in summer league and, you know. Did that happen to Kyle Kuzma maybe? I think Kuzma was like a late pick. Like a late, what, 17th, 20th pick or something like that. Kind of unknown. And then had a great summer and then people really liked that. There's Oscar Robertson, 12 out of 15. For Wembenyama, guys like him, I think a good or bad or a bad one is not going to make too much of, of a difference. Aaron, Aaron W. with the Timberwolves. With the Bucks. But it'll maybe it might help. Yeah, it might help lottery picks that uh that were maybe not uh, maybe not as highly touted, but we're still, you know, some of the top picks. Here is Richard Hamilton. Autograph influx from Flux. One of one. Detroit will. Where there's a will, there's a way. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Yeah, that Keegan won MVP last year, but didn't drive the value just yet. So I don't know. It's hit or miss. Right, yeah, Anthony Bennett, stud in the Summer League, then a total bust. Anthony, was that Cleveland, Anthony Bennett? Oh, and to put a bow on this conversation, watched a couple quarters of the Lakers-Warriors game. Um, really liked what I saw with my Lakers, you guys. Mac Christie looked good. Jalen Hood, Shafino. Didn't light up the, 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 you know, the score sheet. Didn't stuff the stats, but he looked like he was making some smart plays out there. Cole Swider, five, five for eight from three, I think was really solid. You know, Lakers will need that outside shooting as much as possible. Maxwell Lewis is from Pepperdine. You can see, like, I was hitting on the, I think of the Summer League court, had the Summer League logo facing the right way on TV. I was on this side. And you can tell that his family was over there on that side because they were all in that section and they were, they were, they were cheering with every possession he had. That was really cool to see. Those are the kind of stuff you don't see on TV. And last but not least, Hall Dwellers, the glove, Gary Payton, 1 out of 10, Sonics edition, Sonic stuff goes to OKC, that'll be for Kime. Did you change the water? I did. I thought. Why? Oh. Huh. Yeah. I changed the water, that's what I do. When the water is out, I change it out. All right, so yeah, so I saw a little bit of that, saw my team as well. A lot of, lot of fun stuff there. It was a good time. I recommend if you want to see some, some of the youngsters play, go to a summer league game. I don't know. Is Bancaro even playing summer league? 
he, at his level, he might not be playing summer league. He already won rookie of the year last year. A lot of the second year guys that didn't get a lot of minutes last year could use a little more seasoning. Will often end up in summer league and definitely some of the rookies. But a lot of times, a person of Bancaro's level, they're probably not going to have him play summer league ever again at this point. Oh, he's, he's not on a summer league roster, right, Oliver saying? Yeah, too, too big of an investment at this point. All right, Lakers, Bulls. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Five and a six, 11 times. Team on top gets it after 11. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 and 11 and final time. Lakers gets it after 11. Little Laker Joe Mojo for Tristan. My apologies to the Bulls. Apologies to Will. But Tristan scoring the dual on card auto. And there you go, my friends. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thank you very much for that late night rally. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye bye.